Hello beautiful people. For those of you that have been seeing my vlog for a while now, you know that usually I don't share many personal stuff necessarily. Um, but I think that if I'm doing this, I don't know, survival diary, big brother, whatever you want to call this, um, I think it includes sharing this stuff. Um, I so last year uh, I met here a guy in the festival is a local say one of the local security guys and but then and we had a good chemistry between us but he had a girlfriend back then so we were just friends and this year we towards the second week of the festival we had a night out together and at the end of the night he kissed me and we became a thin, um, like we became a couple despite all the cultural differences. And there are a lot of cultural differences. First of all, he doesn't speak any English um, or Hebrew for that matter. And my Spanish is good to, to create a conversation, a basic conversation, but when it comes to the more deep stuff, thank you Google Translate, <laughs> I guess. Um, but, and we had a few times of cultural differences, like um, ways of behavior. There was something that he did one of the days that kind of annoyed me, but I gave him like a, a little teasy smack kind of thing. And he turned to me so angry. And I thought to myself, oh my God, this guy is mental. Like, why are you that angry? The day after I realized that it was the fact that in Panamanian culture you do not like, even as a joke, even as a little bit, you don't touch people's face, like it's okay if I'll do this, but not in the face, where in my culture everybody do it all the time, like we call it kafashtut, which is like um, a ridicule smack, I don't know how to translate it. Um, and it's part of my culture wherein he's if you if you do that it's like death. Especially like if a guy do it to a guy, it's it's murder. If if a girl do it like and a guy do it to a girl, like no way. Um apparently a guy doing to a girl even like this is not cool. Um so that was for example one of the cultural differences. But there were a few more but the guy like I come from a city I'm used to city life and and yeah I love camping I'm okay with building stuff and all that and I've been to youth movement and camping since I was a kid but I'm talking to you about a guy that climb on the tree and bring me a coconut and crack it on a stone or go fishing with a spear that he made from bamboo and and rubber bands or whatever I'm vegetarian so I don't have what to do with the fish but you know and um, I don't know like he has horses and he rides on his brother's horses and it's like 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 proper you know not like what you go for fun for horse riding more like nature horse riding or whatever you would want to call wild horse riding um, so it's it's a very big difference but I love the guy and he's nice and he's kind to everybody and he helps everybody and actually he gave me this um, which is a bit of a funny one because he's like yeah I got my eyes on you which you know if he was from my culture I would have thought like okay um, jealous weirdo type um, but I know that in their culture it's kind of a thing and um, a few days ago he finished his job here I think it's already a week ago and he said goodbye to me so he's no longer here but then a few days ago he came back to the beach next to us 5-10 minutes from here which is basically his brothers have their like they guard a house that is part of the land of the same owner of the land that we are in and he came here with one of the horses and 
I needed to tell him basically to explain to him that we can't see each other, that I can't be with him, that I can't, like he offered to me to go with him, but I'm not from here during this situation, which I don't know how long it's gonna take. I cannot take the risk of going out and, and I don't know what after when it comes to approvals or needed to fly back, whether it will be to London where I live or back to Israel where my families are. Um, my family is, um, but so I couldn't do that. And then he came here, and I needed to explain to him that as much as you know, in here they're used to their freedom. It's like nah, fuck all that shit. Sorry for the language. Um, in regards to going um, wherever they want, and when it comes to what's going on now with Corona, it's not a possibility. And me coming from a medical family trying to explain to him that I can't do that like if I want to take the risk for myself it's one thing but to take the risk with going with him and then coming back it's putting everyone here in the camp at risk and um, it was difficult to text him and knowing that it's is literally like 10 minutes of a walk away from me but I cannot see him because it will be it will be selfish. Um, just because during the time that he's been with his like at his mom's house before he came back here, he's been in touch with a few people and I don't know who and and it's enough for one of them to have corona that everybody one by one is getting it. So yeah, a difficult couple of days. Um, trying to think now what to do when it comes to the fact that we will need to be long distance relationship which I'm not interested in I had with my last boyfriend too many times of long distance relationship and it's uh, it's it's not going well even when we did speak the same language so now with the fact of not always having the best reception and language barrier um, you know when it comes to the deep stuff uh, you know saying to each other I miss you yeah that's one thing but then get into a more deeper conversations and wait I need to stop look at the Google Translate come, coming back to the conversation just because missing one word and that one word is is the significant word in in all the sentence um, yeah I don't want to keep him on hold and I don't know how long this thing is gonna continue um, but yeah, not an easy situation and to be honest, everyone here misses him because he's a fun, funny guy. But it is what it is and sometimes it isn't. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, see you on the next vlog, beautiful people.